the product was always designed to appeal to meat eaters. This is a meat alternative product. Taste, texture, flavor, the way it sizzles, the way it cooks. And also, when you look at the health benefits, zero cholesterol, 50% less saturated fat, excellent source of protein, it brings good health benefits to people. I've had the Impossible Burger. I, I've never craved an Impossible Burger. There's so many great burgers you can get out there. Shake Shack, Five Guys, in and out Why would I go to get this Impossible Burger unless I was doing it like vegan stuff? But today I want to talk about Impossible Foods. You've probably heard about their heme protein made from precision fermentation for quite a while. They've been around for quite a few years and you've probably tried their burgers. And if you're like me, you come across a bit disappointed because you thought it would taste a little bit more like actual ground beef. I've had their ground beef products in the store. Not too bad. I've had their burgers at like a Whopper at Burger King. Not great. Um, I've had their burgers at like an artisan burger place. There they're actually pretty good and they have been getting better over the past number of years but still not great. A number of days ago there was an end to an IP lawsuit settlement between them and Motif Foodworks. Now that this has happened, I'm starting to look at this company again. The unique selling point in Impossible Foods' beef products is a version of the protein that is bioidentical to soy the hemoglobin, which is found in the roots of specific plants. The company employs physician fermentation to produce ingredients, then isolates that and adds it to plant-based beef. So this is essentially the heme protein. And as you can see here, essentially what it does is it creates that bleeding effect of meat. And it also goes from red to a different color as it's exposed to heat. And it also brings us that umami taste from iron that you find in meat. The issue, as we can see, is this comes from plants. Motive Foodworks, meanwhile, uses precision fermentation to make heme protein identical to bovine myoglobin. So Impossible Foods filed a lawsuit in March 2022 accusing Motive Foodworks of patent infringement. I'm not going to get into that, but essentially what's happened is looks like Impossible Foods has won the lawsuit and now they're taking over the business of Motive Foodworks. So they're now going to own the patents and the IP for the, the actual heme protein from cows. In 2021, Motor Food Works launches their Hamami protein, delivering the flavor and aroma of real meat. The primary function of myoglobin is for flavor, but it imparts a red color when exposed to oxygen. Your first product is Hamami, this much anticipated meaty flavor that's made by yeast in fermentation tanks, but it's identical to myoglobin, this heme binding protein found in the muscle tissue of cows. How does this compare to Impossible Foods Heme and why is this such a you know, potential game changer for meat alternatives? Yeah, well, we're very excited about the launch of Hamami. And as you said, this is a bovine myoglobin protein that we make through precision fermentation, the same as the protein you find in beef muscle. And it improves the aroma and flavor of beef substitutes. And we think it's a game changer for the industry. And as you can imagine, we're talking to a bunch of potential customers that are seeing value in, in meat applications. Now, compared to Impossible Foods, uh, they use a different protein completely from what we leverage. So Impossible uses soy-like hemoglobin in their products, uh, which is derived from uh, soy root nodules, the heme protein contained in soy root nodules. Uh, they also use precision fermentation, but it's a pretty big space, and there's lots of ways to produce materials uh, with that technology. But our protein is fundamentally different and delivers different flavor uh, and, uh, and aroma benefits. Now that Impossible Foods owns IP, they've already built a lot of product marketing, distribution, brand. And so it wouldn't be that difficult for them to just change the protein over and potentially that would give them a much better product. We're gonna have to see what happens. It's now worth keeping your eye out on Impossible Foods to see what happens. Thanks as always for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.